Tom Gia. Ome nome é Matt Spielman. Sou o Chief Marketing Officer da Return Path. E quero agradecer a todos vocês por me receber hoje. É uma ochna. Vamos começar in, in English, please. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you very much for having me here today. It, it's, a, it's a real honor. Today we're going to talk about how the inbox has changed, and it's changed rapidly. Most importantly, what are the implications for your business? What should you be thinking about? And how, perhaps even more important than that, how do we turn some of the challenges that we're experiencing now into opportunities for your business to drive it forward. A little bit about Return Path. We've been working at the center of the email system for over a decade, over 10 years, working with companies like yourself, providing them with information that previously did not exist. Specifically, what we do is we help strengthen existing relationships and we make them secure in the digital communications. We also monitor the activity of your competitors and we're also able to help you identify and acquire new valuable customers. Our office in Brazil is open and it's thriving and it opened about three years ago. We're very, very proud of our presence in Brazil. Today's inbox is changing. The inbox has changed, email has changed more in the last two years than in the previous 15 years combined. Why is that? Spam, we've all heard of spam. Spam used to be a problem. Spam is no longer a problem. It represents only about 3% of all of the mail that enters the inbox today. So without the problem of spam, innovation has taken place among all the internet service providers, the email service providers, the mailbox providers, the yahoos, the gmails, and we'll see that a little bit later in our discussion. The inbox is more interactive, more utility for you and for me. These are just a couple of the companies that are providing very important services in our email to enable us to do important things to get through each day. One of my favorite that, that's on this list is Reportive. And Reportive will, when you're getting your email, on the side of the email, it will show the person's social media graph and their social media ecosystem. And so maybe you don't want to respond to that person or maybe you want to respond to a different person. But it, it combines their social media activity. There's a company that, that's not on here called TripIt, which is one of my favorites. I travel a lot. And what you, what you do with TripIt is that you send your email itineraries and what it does is send back to you a perfect list of your itinerary. Un, un, un momento. I'm sorry, th th this is a different version of, of the presentation. Your, your email box is much more organized. And that will help both you and me make our way through the email that we are experiencing each and every single day. Can you open up the previous one? Just un, un, un momento. It, 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 it's on the desktop. It's on, uh, it's on the desktop. Yeah. It, it, it's, great. It's, it's the only file on there. Okay. Sorry about that. We're going to try to get through this within 20 minutes. One, I know it's lunch, which is right after this. And two, I want to provide an opportunity for questions at the end. I have a feeling some of the things that we're going to talk about over the next 15 or 20 minutes or so are going to prompt questions that you are going to have.
This presentation is from about four, four weeks ago. So we, we can continue. This is one of the applications. Your inbox is much more organized, and this is just one of the app. Uh, one second. Lo siento. Yo hablo espanol y inglés. No, no Portuguese. Okay. Much better. Okay. Right. Trip it. This is an image of my inbox. This is a company called Other Inbox, and we, we happen to own it. What you'll see here is that all the email that we get during the day, it's filtered by messages, by shopping, by commerce, whatever it might be. It helps us keep track of the email that we have. This just experience, this was just, this is why I want to show this presentation. In yesterday's Financial Times, there have been a lot of questions about the innovation that the mailbox providers are offering to us. And what we are seeing is they are indeed innovating with priority inbox and then tabs as well. There's a concern that by organizing email, people are going to read less. In fact, they're going to read more according to a three-week study that we did. The, the entire study we have, you could email me after the presentation. There's a lot of information. We looked at over a billion email messages to get at this data. But it says the key takeaway here is that the people that matter the most to email marketers won't read less email now. In fact, they're likely to read more. Your, in, your inbox is more secure. So yes, we've all heard of phishing, spoofing, malevolent and fraudulent email. And it's something that we need to keep an eye on. All of us in this room, we have a responsibility. The ESPs and the mailbox providers have made great strides to making the email much more, much more efficient and much more secure for us. We as brands, as we as partners, have to keep constant vigilance of companies that, or of people who may be trying to send an email that may not be from their domain. We're making great strides, but it requires constant vigilance on our part, and there's some really good solutions that we can talk to you about. One misstep with your customer, and if they receive an email and they click on something and they enter personal identifiable information to a site that they think is a company, but it's not, and it ends up in the newspaper the next day, has very negative effects on our overall business. Of course, email now resides in the palm of our hands. The global open, the global email opens on email according to, on mobile, according to our study of over a couple of billion messages is 40%. It's a little bit lower in Brazil, but that number is climbing. What does that mean for you? So now it's 40%. Next year, it's 50%. The following year, it's 60%. That means that you have to be very conscious and aware and intentional of what your digital communication strategy should be and will be. And it's no longer just enough to know what email makes it into the inbox or what is being forwarded on to a friend. You need to know who your customers are, what devices they're using, what your creative looks like on those devices, what are the operating systems, when are they opening it, when are they reading it at night, and the time frame has extended earlier in the morning to later at night. This is just what I was spoke, uh, speaking to just in the last couple of years. It, we've grown 300% in where email is read now. To be clear, this includes smartphones and tablets. Just by a show of hands, who checked their email this morning before putting their feet on the ground and getting out of bed? Okay, I, that, that's, that's what I figured. Email is more relevant now than ever, and we're looking at it at all different times, and we need to have visibility into who our customers are, what are they doing, what are they reading, when are they reading it, and it's only becoming that much more important because of the explosion, absolute explosion in e-commerce, which is why we're all here today. 
So just in 2012, e-commerce in US dollars surpassed $1 trillion. Just a couple of years ago, that was a half a billion dollars, and it's still growing at 20%. Email is more relevant now than it's ever been. We believe in our industry and in our company that we are experiencing a renaissance in email because of all the innovation that's taking place. But with all of the utility, the benefit, the interactivity, all the good stuff that's happening in the email box, it's also more crowded. We just completed a study, and again, this is one shot of a, a much more detailed study that we have. If you stop by Lounge 30 afterwards, we can get it to you, or you can email me afterwards. The average person globally receives about 400 email mess commercial email messages per month. At the same time, what we've also seen, and this is a study that we produced two days ago, the global rate of email not making it into the inbox, not because it's spam, but because it's perceived as spam, and we'll talk about it in just a moment, is 22%. In Brazil, it's about 40%. Two out of every five legitimate, and we'll talk about that in a moment, don't make it into the inbox. Why is that? There's something called gray mail. Do people know what gray mail is? Okay. Gray mail is email that you may have signed up for at some point in time, maybe two, three years ago, that is no longer relevant to you. So in talking to our global partners at Yahoo, Hotmail, AOL, Gmail, they said the new battleground today is Gmail. I'm sorry, is gray mail. Why? Because what happens is, if you get something that you think you didn't subscribe to, what do you do? You, this is spam. It's actually really not spam, because at one time you did sign up for it. You levy a complaint with the postmaster, which doesn't help you. Or you just don't respond at all, and your inactivity rate, what it does is, here are the implications for you. It lowers your reputation among the ISPs, we at Return Path have something called a sender score, which goes down, which reduces the amount of legitimate email that doesn't make it into the inbox. Let's review. We feel that there's a, a renaissance going on in email. There's more utility now and value provided to you and all of your customers now than ever before. And we need to account for the, the revolution that's happening with mobile and we need to be intentional about our strategy. At the same time, the inbox can be crowded. We need to focus on gray mail, and we need to be really vigilant about security. And we have solutions for that, and you guys, and we can talk about that in a little bit more detail. But you want and need to get into the inbox now more than ever. Most importantly now, what do these trends mean for you? Great ROI. Great ROI, probably the hardest, highest ROI at this time now more than ever. And also, what we're learning is the inbox provides more information for you and for me than ever before as well, because it is more intelligent. It's yielding more data. This is in Wired from July 1st, 2013, saying that email is very effective against social media, banner ads, and affiliate marketing. It's just right up there with search and co cost per click. If you want to succeed online, you need to use email. And not getting into the email box has serious implications. But I mentioned we now have more visibility than ever. You may be thinking that you're best in class and you're doing wonderful things in email. And you probably are. But what if you could take a look at how your competitors are doing as well and have visibility into what they are doing when they are sending. Is big data the answer? I heard recently that, and this is a great statistic, every three days, us on the planet Earth are generating more data than, in, than from the dawn of civilization to 2003. So what I'm fond of saying, I used to work with at a digital marketing agency, and the chief strategy officer there used to say, Data is not information, and information is not insights. 
and insights are not necessarily actionable. So the answer is kind of sort of. Big data is kind of the answer. And it would be great if we had Albert Einstein on the case to sort of help us make, turn that data, that informa data into information, into actionable insights. But we don't. But what we do have is the following. We have the combination of data, and we get about 1,500 data feeds a day at our organization, and we have 200 people, 200 data scientists working on that to make sense of it for you. We combine that with all the analytics. We actually make analytics into that. We glean insights, and that forms our email intelligence of what is happening with your email when it gets into the inbox. The hand is because you need a partner in this. This is a very difficult thing to, to do yourself, and this is what we were sort of built for over the last 10 years. More than anything, more than email intelligence, now we need customer intelligence. We need to know who our customers are, what they're doing, when they're doing it, why they're doing it, on what device. And that is where we are focused. When you put all of it together, knowledge is power. Looking at some of our clients who work with us, and if we just take read rate, for example, much higher read rate when clients adopt some of our actionable insights and incorporate that into their daily business. My favorite one on here is sender score. So the better reputation you have among all of our 81 ISP partners around the globe, the more emails going to get into the inbox. Let's take a look at one of our clients, Royal Caribbean. Travel industry, very competitive, very seasonable. You have to be very nimble. You have to be very quick. You have to adjust very rapidly. They knew that just email clicks was not enough, that was not telling the whole story. They were also under a lot of pressure to mail more. When we combined our data, plus our analytics, plus our insight, plus our partnership, we found about a dozen implications for their business. I'll share one with you. Nobody in the travel category in the cruise line were mailing on Saturdays. Very simple. But without the competitive insight, they wouldn't have known that. So what they did is they increased their sending by 65%, doubled their conversions, no op the opt-out rates decreased. My favorite number on this slide is, is, is the 30% number, which oftentimes does not get calculated. By providing competitive intelligence, they had people within their company that didn't have to spend time in understanding what the competitive environment is, and that's real dollars. Just in, in summarizing all of this, we need collectively working together and everybody here at this conference to understand, and even more than that, more than that, anticipate the changes in consumer behavior that are before us. We need to have the visibility and activity, not only into what you are doing, but also that of your competitors. And all of that information, because email is smarter, is available now. And most importantly, using that data is not information, and information is not insights, and insights are not actionable, you need to translate all this data into actionable insights and work with a partner who understands your business. The result is this combination of delivering your mail and also deriving more value from mail and understanding your customer, a combination of email intelligence plus customer intelligence. This will not only strengthen your existing relationships, but it'll give you an opportunity to establish new ones. And we'd love to talk with you about how we can actually do that with you. Using email to help acquire new customers, not from the email channel. And also, we need to keep a vigilant eye on security. It is something that it's incumbent upon us, and it's something that we can address and make the inbox more safe, secure, and offer all of the utility that I was talking about for all of us in this room, and most importantly, to move your business forward and to help you gener generate more revenue. And that's it, please. I, I glanced over a lot of information. This is months and months of research. Please stop by Lounge 30. We can schedule a sit-down session to talk about your company and how we, can move, how we could move your business forward Thank you very much. Uh, oh, obrigado. Thank you very much. And I, we may have time for a couple of questions. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Uh